G'day everyone, Michelle J. Raymond, LinkedIn for B2B growth expert. And I have something exciting here for you today because too often all the attention when it comes to LinkedIn profiles goes to the main areas. Everybody's always got great tips about the holy triangles. I'm talking about your banner, your profile photo, and of course your headline. Now, don't throw those away, keep them, but there's another area on your LinkedIn profile I want you to pay more attention to. It's an absolute magnet for opportunities and you don't want to be left behind. You don't want to miss out and you don't want to not be keeping this up to date. It's an area on your profile that for me, either people don't have it switched on, which I'm going to step you through how to do that, or they don't rotate it, which also I would recommend. I'm going to step you through how we do those things as well. What am I talking about exactly? Your LinkedIn featured section. What is the featured section? When you go onto somebody's LinkedIn profile, scroll on down, we go past the header, and then we end up here in this featured section. It grabs attention, and I'm going to step you through the ABCDs of how to get the most out of it. The featured section for me is as easy as ABCD. It's all about attracting the right audience to take a look. It's about building your credibility. It's about conveying what you do and it's about demonstrating the social credibility, the social proof that you actually can do it all. If you can't see that featured section or you don't have one, this is what we do. Scroll back up again, go to add profile section, go into recommended, click on add featured. Now I'm not going to do that because I already have it on my profile, but you will get it pop up just like this. If you don't see it, your action today is to make sure that you go and add this feature in. Let's have a look at the featured section and see exactly what it is that we can add in. The way that we add in anything into the featured section is to click on the plus button. Really simple. You can add a post. So if you've had a post that's done really well, quite often people would like to have that show in here. We can see it brings up some options. And you just hit the little featured button down the bottom. And that makes it really simple. We can add a newsletter. If you have a LinkedIn newsletter, this one for me is a no-brainer. It's a must. So just click on add a newsletter. I'm not going to click on it because guess what? Here's something I prepared earlier. You can see that my newsletter is actually sitting here. That's building up social credibility for me. I've got you know roughly 4,500 subscribers to my LinkedIn newsletter. And I want to keep generating more and more subscribers. Why? Because it's the easiest way for me to get my message out. Let's click on the plus button again, see what else we have. We can also add an article. So click on that one. It's going to pop up with some options. In this case, just to remember that the difference between an article and a newsletter for LinkedIn, there is no difference. But the only thing that's different here is that these are individual articles that I've written for my newsletter. So you could feature one of those. So I just click on featured, ta-da, and it always moves everything back into this first position, which I'll show you how we can reorder these things. Also, click on the plus button, add a link. So third-party websites, it could be your website, it could be a landing page, it could be a sales landing page. You could have a free downloadable that sends people down into your sales funnel. All you need to do is type in the link and click add. It's that simple. And again, it will add into the featured section. Click on the plus button again just to see what else. Add media. Now, by adding media, it then opens up whichever shared drive that you use. And then you can start to upload different formats of content in there. Now, from that perspective, you can see we've got lots of different ways that we can use this. Now that I've done that, looks all a bit eh, not so great. On a mobile device, the only thing that happens is you only get to see the first one in the first position. So this one on the left-hand side is really the most important. I don't want it to become a set and forget. I encourage you to change these things, experiment, see what's getting you most attention see what works for your brand. You might have an event that's coming up that's important to you that you want to promote. This is the perfect place for it. Give people something interesting, especially if they might be like just doing the bit of research. You're not going to change it every day, but maybe once every month, once every two months, just as new things come in, bring them to people's attention. We never want to get stale. We never want to get boring. We're doing things again to grow our business and we're doing things that our competitors aren't paying attention to. 
That's why what I'm teaching you today is so critical and often overlooked. So don't be that business owner or that team member. When I just add in a few different options, you can see that they went over here into what I'm going to call first place. I don't want them there because I've got a bit of a system going, which I'm going to let you in on my secrets on how I do this. But if you want to adjust anything, say you want to remove something, you want to change the order, click on the pencil as always everywhere on LinkedIn. That's how you edit things. And you can start to see here, it's as easy as I can remove it all together by just hitting the remove from featured. I have other options for some of these other lines as well, where I can edit them, where I can delete them. And you can see that happens all the way down, depending what type of link that I've put in there. With this, you'll see up in the top right hand side, we actually have a little reorder button. Whilst it's not named, that's what it does. In the top right hand corner, you can grab the little lines and just drag it down. And you can see how now I can reorder. Let's say I want to leave that one on there because it shows my credibility. It shows some of my most recent thought leadership pieces. Whilst I'm not 100% certain on how many you can go across, think about how you would use that section. There's only so much that you're going to scroll and scroll and scroll to see what somebody else is saying about themselves. At most, we're probably having a quick glance, doing our research, thinking about buying from someone, seeing what they're up to, seeing you know what kind of credibility that they've got. So from that perspective, what I don't want you to do is jam pack it with too much, right? We have a tendency on LinkedIn, just because they give us a feature and just because we can go bigger doesn't mean bigger is better. Keep it really strategic in this section. Think about what is it that's going to be of most value to my target audience? That's always what we're doing when we want to grow our business on LinkedIn is make sure it's not about us, it's about them. Best advice that I can ever give people, but yeah, it's not enough people are listening. Let's have a look at this. The reorder button, as I said, just drag and drop, swap them around, move them up and down until you're happy with the order. Now, in this case, I'm going to move mine back around and I'll show you what that looks like. You don't have to hit save. So just click the little cross and it takes you back here to the featured section. As you can see, what's happening out here is that now it's refreshed that order and I've got my main one back in the beginning. My newsletter comes second. And then this is a post that I'm currently working on, which I'll probably swap out, but it's also an insider into what it's like to work with me which I think is important when people are doing their research, that it's not always 100% polished. For me, when it comes to LinkedIn, there's always this balance between fully branded and polished and human. And I think the featured section should have a mixture of that as well. When it comes to branding on LinkedIn, it's a bit of a double-edged sword for me. Too much branding almost makes it feel impersonal. And on the flip side, if we don't have it, we just blend in with the crowd and we're not really known for anything. People can't recall us. I want to show you some of the people that I'm connected with and their featured sections to give you an idea on the different ways that they've used them. Nasheen, thank you for letting me borrow your profile. You can see here her branding is across all of it. I mean, she goes next level. She even dyes her hair the same color as her branding. It makes it really easy to know how you can work with her. So if she's grabbed your attention, she's brought you across, this is how you work one-on-one. -on -one. If you have a look at Nasheen's, what we've got here is an easy way to work with her. How do you grow your business? You make it easy for people to understand how they can work with you. There's a credibility piece here. That's her official LinkedIn course. Of course, we're going to want to know more about what it is she created for LinkedIn and an upcoming event. So for me, this is the perfect mix of here's how easy it is to work with me, here's some credibility, and here's what I've got coming up. And this is like a really brilliant mix. If I scroll across to the right on hers, you'll start to see some other credibility pieces. More human, this is a testimonial that she got from one of her clients. And this is one of her TEDx talks, which again, it just speaks volumes and backs up everything that she's already said up the top here in her profile. Now let's have a look at a couple of others because I think examples are always helpful. Shout out to my friend Jillian Whitney, easy peasy video coach, my go-to. Again, you can see clearly from the top what she does with her business. 
you can see it in her headline, but keep scrolling down and we're going to start to see what is going on here with Jillian. This is her latest LinkedIn Live with Jillian, updates around 2023. She's a specialist in video. She's got a profile video, beginner's guide. There's a lot going on on LinkedIn right now because what's happening is LinkedIn are removing that feature and there was a deadline as we speak. So Jillian's making it easy for people to jump in and get their video done. So a lot of attention will come her way. And then, of course, a really great article from Jillian about the equipment you need to get started. So you can start to see human topic of interest that's timely right now and credibility piece. And you'll start to see that it doesn't matter who's on here. They're all going to have something similar. Shout out to Michelle Griffin, my LinkedIn bestie. Michelle's a personal branding strategist. Everything she does is going to be branded. And these are customized tiles that she's created. So you can create your own tiles and you can see here, link and link. So the best size that I've found for those is 1280 by 720 pixels, just like a YouTube thumbnail. Similar style, you saw those bright colors attracting other people. She has a podcast. That's her credibility play. This is how you can work with her. She shouts out exactly. If you need branding help, again, we're making it so obvious for people. And the credibility piece, the LinkedIn branding book. I know a really amazing co-author of that book. If you haven't bought your copy, you should head out now. Three key things, always something that is of interest and really backs up her story, her brand, and her business. I want to talk about how I've used mine so that you can see. I wanted to make it really easy for people to understand the types of products and ways that I work with people and what I actually do. Because I don't know about you, but sometimes when I'm scrolling on LinkedIn, there's some people I really love. They create great content, but I'm scratching my head thinking, what do you actually sell? How do you make money? If you click on view, it's going to take you to my website which will give you more details around how I work with people. So when it comes to mine, I've got a mixture based on my business goals right now. Of course, I want to make it really easy for people to understand what I do and how I work with people. I'm currently trying to grow my newsletter subscription. So this part is in the middle. This is a current post that is going out at the moment and lots of people are commenting on it and it's giving me some really great feedback on what makes me different to others. I'm just keeping that up there because I want as much interest in that particular post as we can at the moment. Also, if I keep scrolling across to the right, this is a link to all of the other resources. Of course, you're here on YouTube, but I have two books, two podcasts, and I want to always be driving traffic towards those. And the last one is absolutely a credibility play for me. I had an amazing privilege of being on the Social Media Examiner podcast with Mike Stelzner. And I wanted to show that off because for me, this one's like a trophy cabinet. I admit it. So apply A, B, C, D to your featured section on LinkedIn and watch those opportunities come your way. Why? Because it makes it simple. It stands out and it just makes it so obvious for people to know what it is that you do and how you do it. Now, there's one final thing that I would highly recommend when it comes to your featured section is you want to pack them with one last punch. It's all about the call to action. Make them really strong, make them obvious and make them simple. People don't want to click on a link, go somewhere and have to fill out a five-page document just to get you to call them. Have your systems and processes in the background sorted. So for me, for instance, I have a Calendly link, book an intro call, 15 minutes, one link, couple of fields filled out, problem solved. It's about having a cohesive process. So think about what's your customer experience like from the time they discover you, maybe via your content, maybe you reached out to connect with them. From that moment on, what's the process that they will go through before they actually get to speak to you? Because remember, the actual aim of this game is to get people off LinkedIn and into conversations as soon as it makes sense and not a second earlier. So don't rush these things. So I hope this has been helpful. It's as simple as your A, B, C, Ds. I want you to go and update your featured section. If you don't have anything in there, it's time to go and do it. You can just grab the links for articles off websites. If you don't have anything created yourself, 
just speak to topics that are really important to you, that align with your brand, that show people what you stand for and the kind of person that you are. That is the important part. We want to get to know you. This is what the featured section can do. Your homework is two things. Number one, I want you to reach out and connect with me on LinkedIn, Michelle J. Raymond. That's the first step. The second thing that you're going to do is you're going to send me a direct message after you've updated your featured section and let me know so I can come and check it out. If you have enjoyed this video, leave me a comment and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel as they say over here in YouTube lands. I really hope that this has been helpful to show you how that you can use the featured section to grow your B2B. Cheers.